If you're looking for an external storage solution for your Bubble app, then stay tuned to this video where you're gonna learn about a solution called Wasabi that has some very reasonable pricing for their storage. And you're gonna learn how to basically send files there and read files from there for videos and images. Now, you probably know over in your Bubble app that if you are going to buy their storage, you can see that for every 10 gigabytes, um, this is, let's say, let's look at 250 gigabytes, that's $250 per month. If you were to translate that into one terabyte, that would be $1,000 per month. Well, here over in Wasabi, you can get that for $6 a month. And... Um, this storage solution is really great if you're storing a lot of static uh, images, videos, these types of things. Uh, probably not so great. This is not your solution if you're trying to build like a Netflix or YouTube style uh, site where you have, you know, just large capacities of things being moved around. But uh, we'll take a look at just kind of normal use. And what I've defined as normal use is... Um, your users are seeing these images, seeing these videos, but let's just say there's not 10,000 of them happening simultaneously. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at a user interface I have set up here. And what we're gonna do in this video it, tutorial is it's probably gonna take about a half hour to do a full teardown and show off all of the uh, nuances of what it is that is being utilized to make all of your bubble storage you know, work uh, outside of bubble in over in wasabi so here you can see just a ui that i have set up where we have an image that's over the wasabi element itself it takes and it uploads some uh whatever files and folders and um then allows people to preview them so now i'm going to actually do this with the video as well and one of the things you're going to want to do to actually get started on all of this uh, prior to us jumping in and doing the building is over in Wasabi, you're going to want to get a bucket set up. You're going to want to note your bucket's name. You're going to want to get your access keys set up. And those access keys just follow along over here on the zero code docs uh, Wasabi cloud storage plugin. You can find this, uh, this doc from the link in the plugin. And the plugin is this Wasabi cloud storage um, here, this link. And so you go and grab your access keys and then punch those in both here and also in the dev area, I should say as well. I know that they have uh, some really great documentation here over on their site, but sometimes it does feel like seeing someone do it live in front of you is super helpful. So that's what this video is for. So uh, let's take a look then here. Yep, so we can see a video and we can see uh, an image. And uh, so now, I'm gonna go and we're gonna do a total teardown of everything and you're gonna to get to see in action how to set up this Wasabi plugin. So first and foremost, um, let's go ahead. Well, let's go ahead and actually, let's just delete out some of these elements, but maybe not the full UI because these, you can just see how those are built. That's pretty easy to know about. So uh, let's see, we'll delete this as well. Okay, that's probably a good enough starting point. There's a progress bar and some, di some different workflows. There are some states and so what you're going to want to do is after you have first go and install this Wasabi Cloud Storage plugin. And after you've installed that over here on your um, visual elements, grab a Wasabi S3 element and drop that into wherever you want to use it on your page. trying to get it here into this group. There we go. And then for this, what you want to do is come down and the type file uploaded and retrieved here. Okay. 
and then for how many file uploads we're just gonna we're, we're actually gonna walk through file uploads enabled yes private you want to check that as no especially while you're testing these things out and then over in your uh, in the bucket that you create in here so once you get in here uh, you'll actually just hit create bucket you'll name it you'll give it a region note the region and then um, just you know just hit create it's gonna be super easy to create a bucket just like that although I'm not going to use this one cool so uh, once you've got your bucket set up and your region noted you'll want to grab both of these region super bucket and then folder structure this is where I had that uh, that drop down and so I've actually I've already set up a folder structure here and I just note that in Wasabi you'll probably you'll want to not use any spaces because that seems to have an issue and that was one thing that I learned in my uh, work on this so we're gonna add a drop down here And we'll just add a little piece of text above it. And of course, you may not need to utilize a folder structure like this. You might just want to put everything into one spot, and that is perfectly okay as well. Cool. So for this, for the appearance of this, what else, what else, what else? For here, we want to have the folder structure. We're going to say, we're going to give this a name. We're going to call this drop down folder. And these options, I'm going to fill in. Like so. Do I have seven? No, I just have six. Oh wait, so I'm gonna show off actually creating a folder as well in here. So you can just see what that process is. Everything is very, very easy and self-explanatory. And then you you do, you will want to, um, no, I'll take it back. Uh, let's see, this. So you wanna go and you wanna make these public while you're testing them. And then we'll go in and we'll take a look at what to do um, for permissioning uh, at the end. Cool, so we've got folders, we've got, uh, we're roughing in our UI, we've got a way for people to select from them. And then again, the important point here is that you have, you could set a static value here, uh, but here, you know, I'm allowing, I'm building a UI where we're gonna use these, um, this dropdown. And then for accept, I want it to accept all types of files, so I'm just gonna leave that blank. And then max file count, maybe I want to say five. Auto submit, you could have this where as soon as somebody drags and drops over this, that they that it automatically sends the, the files to Wasabi. Um, I'm going to choose no, just because of how I want my UI to work. And then so the rest of these uh, all look good to me for now. Okay, and then also though, for our appearance here, we're going to give it the background of an image. We're going to upload. This image. And we're going to make this element. We're going to give it a layout of say 300 by 300 so that it looks like 
something you might expect. And this, uh, this image, this will be available for download if in a link below.